Good morning, my name is Matthew from Axel. Today I'm making a short video to demonstrate how to configure a terminal to connect to a Microsoft VDI virtual machine. So here we have the terminal. It's a, a Model 80 terminal attached to the back of a monitor. On power on, it does this. and we connect direct to our virtual Windows 7 machine. I'll now put the terminal back to factory defaults, run through the configuration menus and show how it's set up. In advanced factory settings, reset. Okay, so the keyboard will be English for us. I'll leave the terminal name as is. I'll label the remote control embedded VNC server. Resolution I'll leave and the color I'll knock up to 32 bits per pixel. Next, DHCP I will leave enabled. For connection type we toggle from direct access which would be the old-fashioned direct RTP connection to a server to Microsoft Remote App Desktop and we simply have to enter the URL of the machine hosting RDWeb. No printers connected, no memory sticks, a brief resume, and we save. The terminal will now reboot and will connect to that server and display all the resources which it is displaying. On rebooting, I'm prompted for my username, password, and domain. And on logging in, I'll be presented with three icons, calculator and WordPad, which are published applications through Remote App. And the third icon is my Windows 7 virtual machine. Now we can streamline the boot up process somewhat. By entering setup, sessions, and Microsoft Remote App. In authentication, we can pre-enter a username, we can also pre-enter a password, which I won't do here, and we can also enter the domain to save typing it in every time. And the other uh, interesting parameter is on the desktop we can control what is displayed. So we can control whether the terminal displays desktops only, applications only, or both. The was currently set to both. If I set it to desktops only, there'll be just the one Windows 7 virtual machine icon displayed, then I can then configure it to auto-exec a single resource, which means it will automatically run that application. So I'll save that, save. So now, on reboot, Prompt with my password. And it launches straight into the Windows 7 environment. So there's obviously a lot more to VDI than is shown in this video, but uh, hopefully this will help as a, as, a, as a starting point as to what you could achieve with VDI and a thin client terminal. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please contact us via our website. Bye for now.